Good evening, greetings from the second doctor. With your health blog, I am Dr. Antonio Arno, and today I am going to talk about a topic that has been asked a lot last week in our post about low hemoglobin and anemia, when it's really necessary to transfuse in patients with severe anemia who have hemoglobin below 7 grams per deciliter or hematocrits below 21%, it's necessary to transfuse, it's important to do so. There are patients with hemoglobins of 5, 6, 6.5. People often ask me if it's possible to gradually increase hemoglobin through diet or natural treatments. The answer is definitively no. The blood transfusion must be performed. Why should the blood transfusion be performed? Because below 7 grams per deciliter has been seen that uh, the risk of complications and mortality greatly increases in patients that they have such low hemoglobin the oxygen levels in the blood are not enough and the tissues go through a hypoxia process or hypoxemia in which it is as if the retina brain kidneys heart were suffocating they can't function properly due to the lack of oxygen and this not only brings changes but also chronic disorders that can accompany the patient for the rest of their life but can also lead to acute events like cerebral infarction, stroke cerebral infarction, heart conditions, trigger heart failure, blindness, kidney failure, with which if we have an acute situation, hemoglobins below 7 grams per deciliter are an indication. The current approach is to perform a transfusion. We not perform a transfusion well many people are afraid that during the blood transfusion they might become infected with viruses like hiv aids oh the hepatitis c virus well to ease your minds a bit we now have very strict controls in the 21st century in which it is very 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 unlikely that a patient receiving a timely transfusion could become infected with any of these viruses Another risk is the risk of having an allergic reaction during the transfusion. But, well, currently the main groups A, B and A, B, O, R, H positive and negative, they are very well categorized, even the subgroups. And when breast and cross tests are carried out, it is verified that it is unlikely. An allergic reaction occurs and transfusions are carried out in a hospital setting where we have everything needed in case an event occurs. Respond quickly and correctly. Well, I hope to have uh, clarified a bit. Stay with the value of 7.7 grams per deciliter, 21% matocrit below this level a transfusion is indicated on the other hand you should know that at the health level we are very careful when indicating a blood transfusion is the same risk by the because the blood from another patient who has donated it most often altruistically should be used in correct when there is a right indication which is why when we indicate a transfusion it is almost always very well indicated and it would be logical to receive it to reduce the risk of complications. Well, thank you very much and I hope if you like it that you give it a... if you like the video or visit us through our page and share it on social media, that would be much better as it helps us grow. See you later and thank you.